And it says here, the, the Berean Study Bible says, the unfolding of your words gives light. It informs the simple. Now, when, you, when it says the unfolding, that is something is opening up and releasing something. The unfolding of your word brings, gives light. It informs the simple. Now, King James Bible, uh, King James Version says, "The entrance of thy words giveth light; it giveth understanding unto the simple." And I want you to just go with me in this graphical illustration. If you are in a room that is not well lit, it's this dark, and and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, and, and, and like you are in your hotel, you know you won't know whether it's daybreak, or it's daylight or not. If when you go to bed, you put all the blinds all over, and you can still remain in that situation, even if it's 12 o'clock. But somebody opened the door. What happened? Light flooded the house. You know what? Light flooded the room. Because when you open the door, the ray of light just come, and the house just transformed, just like from black and white to color, if you may. The entrance of your world it's like just open it and light just flood that hotel room. It changes everything. Or you just put the, the window blinds up and you see light just fill up the house. It says the entrance of your word giveth light. Now, the word, the unfolding, or the entrance. How about now see like a door opening? Or a rose unfolding and release some some perfume. There's, there's a flower that we call it's called something jasmine. It's, we, we call it Queen of the Night. At night, when this flower opens up like a little white star, when it opens up, it fills the place with, with, with good scent, fragrance. So when is that is that unfolding or the door open? What is saying in in the new good uh, God good test good news testament is Understanding your word. What's the entrance? What's the unfolding? It is understanding that brings the light. Because the word is not like a spirit that will open the door. It is what you take in that will lighten your inside. You get that part? Yes. And then, Paul Man's study, uh, Christian Standard Bible says, the revelation. Let me say, it's the revelation. It was just back inside of you. The wow, light. So, and, 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 you know, man cannot rise above his level of revelation. So Jesus was trying to test his people. He said, what do men say I am? And they said, you are this, you are that. But what do you say I am? Somebody say revelation. revelation. That is the entrance. That's the light. And, and, and I said, you are so, 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 no, heaven and, and, and blood and, and flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. And then, the, he said, the understanding of your word brings light. So let me put this. Do you know that God can reveal to you who you are? <laughs> How will that happen? When I have a full understanding of who God is, I receive a revelation of who I am. Amen. Because I don't need to be for him to be. But he definitely needs to be for me to be. So if I see how, if I receive understanding of who, can you go to a homeless guy that doesn't know his father and believe he's an orphan and he's picking garbage? I said, what's your name? Oh, I'm so, 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 so. I'm the mention the last name. Oh, yeah, are you so, so? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, yes, my birth certificate. Oh, ah. He doesn't know his father. So it never been revealed to him who he was. Mm -hmm. I said, don't you know? Ah, your father is the, is that, is that the same king as, ah, I don't know. And they said, and they go back there and they try to say, do you have it? Yeah, there was a song 32 years ago that they, with, mysteriously he disappeared. 
the moment he come to know that he is the son of that king, the revelation of who he is just is it. The understanding of who God is will reveal to you who you are. But the revelation is what you catch that fire you up. See what it says in International Standard Version. The disclosure of your words illuminates providing understanding to the simple. What's illumination? Light. All right. Then King James says, the commandment is a lamp. Commandment is a lamp. Commandment is a lamp. No, no, th th this, this is a uh, this is, this is Proverbs now. Proverbs 6, 26 and 23. Your command, for the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So we go to Proverbs 23. Yeah. The commandment is the lamp. You know the lamp is the holder of the light. The lamp can be without the light when the oil gone out. The fire virgin. So the commandment, your word is the lamp and the light. So that every stretch I made, I see a little bit further. And so he said, your commandment is the lamp. Your law is the light. And the reproofs of destruction are the way of life. Now let me go and say, whoo, crackle, sir. Thank you, Lord. Somebody should be good enough. All right. He says, it enlightens. Let me just talk about enlightening. Enlightening in the dictionary, regular dictionary. Enlightening is to give intellectual or spiritual light. Don't just hear it said that so that the, heart, the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, may receive light. <laughs> and, and, and so it says enlightening is, is to give, the verb is to give intellectual or spiritual light to instruct, to impart knowledge. The archaic star, star says to, to shed light upon. When you when you are watching uh, a live performance, drama on a big stage, and then they dim the stage. And then somebody's walking and they set a, a floodlight. So that's the only person you see. Light. Bring clarity, understanding, knowledge. You take it in. You see the light working. And you see another one coming from there because they're going to merge. So light is bringing one, it's, it's guiding, and you can see them. That is what the world does. So, whoo. The original word enlightening was first recorded in 1350 to 13 and uh, to 1400. That's around that age group, uh, that time group. The, the enlightening is from the Middle English word enlightening. You want to put it there? But the synonyms of that is illuminate, edify, teach. Inform. The antonyms are mystified, confused, perplexed, puzzled. So in a perplexed situation, the word comes to just shine light. And it brings understanding. Because lack of understanding is what we can define as darkness, confusion. All right? I want you to look at uh, 
Is it John 1, 4? You get that? I, I, I'm just going to. John 1, 4. In him was life. In what? In the world. When the beginning, this same light is the world. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. This is the word that created everything, and without this word was nothing ever created that was created. But in him was life, and the life was the light of men. So you see the light in the world that comes and transforms my world. So, how does this light thing become? It says it's the entrance of the world that brings light. It is the unfolding. It is the understanding. It is the instruction. So, how do you gain understanding? It is revelation. And it's the word. So, how do you gain the understanding? By meditation. Are you meditating? If you choose to meditate, I, I, you know, I said I have three topics and I battle for. I was at this wedding last uh, yesterday and we went for to evangelism uh, uh, from, I was going to do it from 10 to 2 before the police call us shut at 1 o'clock. And I came in, I dressed up, the wedding was to start at 3. I was going to leave that place at 2 and dash in, but they gave me a little bit of time to dress. Uh, and, and all along, Day before that time, I've been struggling, and I left after the word, the ceremony. I didn't wait for reception. I just came home, and I, and I knew that nothing was holding, and I was dabbing <coughs> between the three all the way to coming here. I never resolved. One of them is uh, discipline. Another one is uh, uh, this, this discipline, and that's the powerful one. Another one is a revelation, and uh, this one is the light. Go with me to uh, Ephesians 1 17. And I want to shake out a book. You will see how. You will see how. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to all add up right now. I have just about 10 minutes to finish. Is that about my time? Are you there by me? Now, this is my prayer for you. This is my prayer for myself. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto me and you the spirit of wisdom and what? Revelation. It's not just wisdom. It's not knowledge, which is good. But revelation. Deep understanding. In what? Revelation in the knowledge of him. For when I know him, I already know who I am. Man not need to tell me who I am not. For if you don't know who you are, enemy will tell you who you are not. I already know who I am. My father say, and I stand on that, that he will give me the, uh, uh, the, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge. Give me the next verse. So that the eyes of my understanding, understanding has an eye. When it said that the, spirit, that, that the spiritual light, it lights something and it releases understanding. So that your, the eyes of your understanding being what? Lighting up. Being lighting up. So when it's lighting up, you are no more ignorant. Now you know. So that you may know what is the hope of his calling because your his, his spiritual side is already lighting up. Then you will know how pro, you have problem knowing what is the hope of his calling and what is riches of the glory of his inheritance in me. Amen. <laughs> Whew. And how? And the surpassing greatness of his power to who? Us. Who believe? Now, I'm not boasting that I want to carry the glory of God as a prince, as a son of the king. Now, I'm really I'm not boasting is that it's free for anybody to just come in and be particular. Receive it. 
accept him, follow him, you become like me. So it's not like it's a privileged few and it's not anything that anybody can tap into. As many as believe, those have been given the power to become the children of God. And so you are there if you become a prince. So why shouldn't I boast? If my boasting makes you envious, then become. If your God is not working, come try mine. Amen. Amen. So why shouldn't I boast? Because my Father is God. And now we're and now we're exhausted. And so 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 and if you look at it, you see, now, now don't just say that I'm just being so super spiritual. I just told you the dictionary definition of enlightening that is to give intellectual understanding or spiritual light to lighten my spirit 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 world. Mm -hmm. So New Living Translation put it like this, that is verse, uh, verse 18. When it says that I ask that your heart, that the, that the eyes of your heart be may be enlightened, right? New Living Translation said that your hearts be flooded with light. When you put a floodlight, even if an ant should walk, you see. But when he takes over, don't you know he said that in him there is no darkness at all. Yes, and he said darkness is like a broad noon daylight. So there is no hiding. There is no, no corner. The floodlight of God is upon you because you already imbibed the world. The world becomes light and sets you free from tree and, 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 and the tribes of the enemy. Deception cannot be your portion. You can't be chained down in the world of ignorance. Your father is God. And he is leading you. He has brought, don't you know that he said it? The, 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 the spirit of the, the candle of the, the candle of uh, the spirit of God is the candle, uh, the candle of the Lord. Uh, some, uh, really put it the, the, the spirit of the Lord is a candle that sets the inward part of man. Which is light. And that is why the word can say that man look at the face, but God looks at the heart. It is not what is physical, it is the invisible, and it made the invisible visible because you say that I believe the invisible. <laughs> this is where it comes to. This old saying that says, watch, watch, watch your thoughts. Your thought becomes your word. Watch your words. Your words become your action. Watch your action. They become your habits. Watch your habits. They become your character. Watch your character. They become your destiny. So your thoughts become your destiny. Your thoughts shape your destiny. And then if you are working on a path that is not well right, well, that is not, you cannot be too late to make a new beginning, but you can start from where you are and make a brand new ending. Go back to the heart and start to recondition the heart back. And but I'll start to meditate back and say, this is what I want. So you cannot have a, 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 no, the first thing is that you need a desire for something. And then ask God for ability. Don't start, don't start with ability and now ask him for desire. No, no. He will release the ability for somebody said that uh, if you are searching for the truth, when you get the truth, you will get the you will get the I guess the peace. But when you are searching for the peace, you will not end up getting the truth. You will end up in despair. Truth. It's what will bring self the freedom. What I say? And you shall know the truth. And you want to be at peace, you don't want the truth. No, it's despair. So your thoughts will determine your destiny. If your destiny is heading to the to, the, to ruin, go back to the thoughts. Pick a word and start to meditate upon it. I want to I double there are some people that you are doing something that you don't feel like you are so you don't feel peace doing it. I 
And he was said, uh -huh. I don't want, why not pick a verse in the Bible and make a determination and put it into another of my message and see the way habit will become from. Habit, actually, discipline is doing something you don't really like that will end up producing what you love. Hey, let me just pick somebody. Hey, you're trying to, are you trying to, to lose some weight? It will hurt your stomach. It will make you feel like a weak. But if you don't skip breakfast, make sure you eat breakfast. You want to skip lunch, skip lunch. And between breakfast and dinner, you uh, by the time you do it for three, four days, you become used to it. It becomes a habit. And then you start to lose the power. But what is discipline? Discipline is doing what you don't like to do in order to gain what you want to have. So now your path is not good, working well, it's leading to ruin. You can change it. Go back on the word. Pick a verse. Start to meditate upon it. And come see this verse start to become fruitful in you, multiplying in you, increasing some, something in you. And then you start to, you know what? Make, make a desire. Something, you see, I went to, 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 to the Bible seminar, to, to, to this uh, leader seminar. It's called uh, Weber WBA had this uh, program and it's called writing a God Center sermon uh, at the Bible uh, Museum, the Museum of the Bible. I was saw some people and I said that this is men's challenge. Sexual impurity. It's men's daily battle. And then uh, if men would just decide that, you know what? I'm gonna make a determination that no more will I go to this side. And the Lord help me. That's a, that's a desire. And that you want that belief. No, not that you have. No, I can do this. And, and Lord, I need it. No, it doesn't work like that. Cut the heart. Cry to him. And let it settle. And then make a determination. Discipline. Pick a word. Just pick something. I want to be more forgiving. Holy Spirit help me. You know what? The moment you want to start to launch that principle, man, they will start to poke you left and right now. I said, you, I need to, I need to, you see, because a skillful sin, a, a calm sin don't make a skillful seller. It will, it will come, bam, bam, bam. I said, Lord, I already promised. Lord, now you know I need you right now because I'm going to smash this my life head down. I gave it the blue black or in a minute. And I said, but, but I, I'm working with you. Okay. Just jump into the, jump into the, to the just slam break and get into water and just take a, a bottle of cold water and say, ha, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to drink before I explode on you. I see how you walk you. It's not going to be easy. You can stand somebody, you say, Lord, I want to be like you. He said, if this spirit, spirit in you that is in Christ Jesus, Father, give me your spirit in this area. What is the area that there's no one here? Whoever, who's got everything all in control? Everything is in control. Your life is all perfect 100%. <laughs> Pick something and take it to the Lord. And start to work at it. And start to pray for strength. This is my heart. This is my desire. I want to do better here. This is what I feel that I need to do better here. And see that you have a heart, you have a desire. It will always come. So it goes to the heart. Those who know how to think need no teachers. And I'm correct, it's the, the, the way of thinking, because that's a wrong way of thinking. That's a thinking that don't come straight from the spirit. And it's a lot of thinking. People often wrongly assume that their thinking is done by the head. Have you heard a lot of people say, use your head? Use your head. When I say those who know how to think need no teachers, but people often wrongly assume that their thinking is done by their head, but it is actually done by the heart, which first dictates the conclusion then commands the head to provide the reasoning that would defend it. Let's say that. Those 
who know how to think, not through the head, need no teachers. Thinking through the head, he said, he said to Saul, he said, too much education is making you to go crazy right now. Don't think from the head. That's not well, that is carnality. But people often wrongly assume that their thinking is done by their head, but it is actually done by the heart. Now this is what the heart will do. The heart will dictate the conclusion. Then it will command the head to go provide the reasoning that will defend it. The heart. When you are walking not in the path that you should walk, go back to the heart. The heart will determine your destiny. And the word will bring the domination. And you will release understanding. And you will reveal to you who you are. Who do men say I am? She that fails to command her thought will soon lose command of her actions. It's the heart. It's the heart. And he said that, he said, he said that from that spring issues of life. So you guard it. Before you hate somebody, it must have deceived you all over. You see, nah, 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 the heart is now. He said, and he kept this all in her mind, in her heart, Mary, the mother of Jesus. And then when you have pain and wrong in your heart, it manifests in your action. And so when you refuse to command your heart to hear the word of God and fall, fall according to his purpose, you lose control of your action. You ask before you know. You say this, take it back. You say this, take it back. Because you lose control of your action. Because you cannot control your thoughts. Mm. The entrance of the world brings light. The unfolding of the world brings light. It, it brings understanding. The instruction brings light. The commands brings light. Because the word is the lamp and the light. It said, it said the, 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 the command the command is lamp, the law is light, and the reproof is the way of life. See. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. So Lord, we the world that he gave us his son. Wednesday we were here and they said, 